Welcome back to the channel, Ryan with Saddle Hunter, and today we're gonna to be looking at a new saddle called the Cloud by Arsenal. This is the Cloud, a redefined single panel saddle with some new features we've yet to see in today's market. Now, Arsenal is a new mobile hunting company to hit the scene, and they're going to be offering a whole slew of new products ranging from saddles to climbing sticks, platforms, plus a ton of accessories. Let's run through the specs. The Cloud is proudly made in the USA, fully adjustable single panel design with a nice color scheme with that Ranger green and gray. Weighing in at one pound six ounces, the saddle's gonna run you 329. Now the max panel design measures 18 by 26. It fits a wide range of body types and distributes that weight across a large surface area. The Cloud is paired with integrated fast access pockets that are integrated into the saddle panel for convenient access. The no zipper pockets are simply composed of a four way stretch material. The pockets will lay flat when not in use or expand to handle managing your ropes with ease. The saddle is equipped and paired with a built in lightweight amp steel belt for secure metal free adjustment. The Cloud will have additional saddle accessories also offered by Arsenal. The max panel back band for extra comfort, which is also dual purpose and can be used as a knee slinger versus using a traditional approach such as knee pads. Magnetically removable big back pouch served as an extra storage bag that can be removed and stowed on gear straps for quick access items during the hunt. The new comfort bar that will integrate into the bridge port holes to aid with comfort and alleviate hip pinch. Cloud is accompanied with adjustment tab loops at both the top and the bottom of the saddle. So as you can see, when you sit or lean, you can micro tune the saddle and where you want the pressure to hit. With the Cloud, the built-in webbing bridge is paired with two point connections at both the top and the bottom of the saddle. And that's where the adjustment tab loops come back into play to refine comfort. The bottom of the saddle is sewn in a way that offers a crescent moon design to help with the improved comfort to eliminate that leading edge from cutting into the back of your legs. Overall, my feedback on the saddle really focused around the bridge design. On the walk in and the walk out, the bridge cannot fully be cinched down, so it's not really streamlined. It's doable, but it's a bit bulky by nature. The second piece also related to the bridge is changing that design here on the bottom where I think that should be girth hitched on that webbing at the bottom side of the bridge loop. Now there's a lot of adjustments in the webbing but changing the pressure points on the bottom leading edge would be helpful for both leaning and sitting. And lastly, when you tighten the top adjustment tabs, the bridge kind of wants to collapse and fold in. It's not a huge issue but it limits the bridge from sliding through the carabiner so it's really only usable space in between that the two melted bridge port holes where the comfort bar would integrate into the bridge design. Okay, so we're out here in the cloud. One of the big pieces that I, I like in this kit is the adjustment options that you have between these two points here. So here's the top side of the bridge, bottom side of the bridge, single panel design, bottom side will control the bottom top to the top and so if you want more pressure and cupping right for your sitter you'll pull up on this tab right you can take a lot of slack out of the system it's really tight to the tree I mean it's pulling my leg my left leg here up you know by five six inches and I can drop that back down all the way out and it's very comfortable to lean in as well so um, if you want a little bit of lower back support, but you like how it feels on the bottom, we can give it a tug here, make the same adjustment on the opposite side so it's even. And now I got a lot of lower back support through here. And then it kind of helps with that lean, kind of tapers out at the bottom, and doesn't have really a whole lot of pressure there either. Uh, so it's really up to you. That's just kind of my preference sitting in this. Uh, just to kind of fine tune this a bit. Um, it, it, you'll find comfort and then you'll also find that there's some pretty painful points too. Uh, just pulling on the top, if you were to pull it all the way up on both sides here, like this, it completely takes all the load out of the bottom and it just <laughs> dumps all the pressure into your lower back. So like this section right here, zero weight in the bottom of it. Um, you know, so I, I feel like this would cause you back problems. So, you know, it's just, uh, that's an extreme. But you'll see that there's a lot of adjustment here with this. 
and it'll take you all the way out from the tree and also bring you in tight too. So if you're running out of space on your tether and you can't advance it up anymore, you can always pull on this a little bit, get you in closer to the tree. The Cloud is lightweight, streamlined, and a less is more approach to their single panel design by Arsenal.